because I don't want to offend anybody at Oklahoma. Five Oklahoma State football team, and we beat them 45 to play Texas Tech. And while we're ranked number 21 in the nation right now, the University of Dialogue in Houston, Texas. And he said, we want to talk with you about partnering and to create what's called the Gulan Institute. And I said to him, I have no idea who Gulan is. I've never heard of the man. I don't know anything about him. And I said, I need to know something about him. And so Elp gave me some books to read. And I also went on the internet. And what I discovered as I read about this man, a Muslim scholar, is that he has a philosophy that was very similar to a person who was very important to us in the United States, the Reverend Martin, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr who said and spoke about the idea that we need to create just communities through peace, that violence doesn't work, and we need to sit down with those with whom we disagree, and we need to talk with each other. And that is how we create a just community, and the only way that we can move forward as a community is through peace and justice. And as I learned more about the Patula Gulan, I realized why ELP came to the College of Social Work at the University of Houston. There's 5,000 colleges in the United States today, community colleges, technical colleges, baccalaureate colleges, master's degree granting institutions, all the way up to your tier one PhD programs. But why did ELP come to this one college, the smallest college, the College of Social Work at the University of Houston, where we have 350 students, all masters and doctoral students? And, and I was struck with that, and I, and I wasn't quite sure. And then it, it sort of came about in our conversation, as he said, a lot of programs have mission statements that talk about promoting community development and promoting justice. He said, very few programs do that, and your program does that. On our faculty, we, we are the only school of social work in the world that has a Nobel Peace Laureate on faculty. Jody Williams, who won the Nobel Peace Prize for banning landmines around the world. We're the only social work program in the world that engages students with multiple Nobel Women Laureates through a program that's called the Nobel Women's Initiative. And just this past summer, our students were in Guatemala working with six of the Nobel Women recipients around the rights and privileges afforded to women in Central and South America. We're a very unique and very different program. And so when ELP said, we would like to partner with you because your philosophy at the College of Social Work is very close with that of Fatula Gulan. And so we started on this journey. We, had no, we really didn't know what we were going to do, but essentially what we created is what I call a relational container. If you think about when iron ore is made and it comes and they put all these metals in and then they zap it with electricity and it becomes this melt, melted lava, that's a, a relational container that can take the, and absorb all the heat and energy, the violent thrusts that are coming in on it, and it creates a new form and something that's very useful to society as we see with metal products. And so what we've done is we've created a relational container where people with different philosophies and ideas come together to talk about their perspectives on the human condition. And it's only through sitting down and talking with those who are different from us that we understand what that commonality is. And here in Washington, we know of all the great discourse that goes back and forth, and the great common denominator is finding that common ground, sometimes so hard to find. But that's what we are about in this relational container at the Gulan Institute. And so what we've done is we send our students overseas. They travel to Turkey, and they go through an incredible, incredible trip where they travel throughout Turkey for 12 to 14 days. They visit agencies and they visit hospitals and schools to see how social services are provided. They visit with families, and that's really where the essence of the relationship takes place, where you sit down in people's homes and you break bread with them and you sit and you talk and you learn about their traditions and their culture, and they too ask you, what's it like to be in Houston, Texas, and is it true that in Houston everybody has an oil well? Because that's what we see JR has. And so that is part of what we deal with, is, is trying to make sure we understand our differences. And then I come back to the Fatula Gulan, and he was the first Muslim scholar who came out and condemned publicly the 9-11 terrorist attacks on this country. He was the first who did that. And then he followed that up saying that all forms of terrorism, all forms of act of violence are not humanitarian and they violate the code of decency because we cannot move forward in a world community 
if we act violent towards each other. And so our students go over and they experience this overseas, they come back and they develop new ideas about, you know, people are people. It says, Buddha says there's many ways to climb a mountain, there's many ways to live in our global community, but we're all going to the same place. And that's what the Institute is about. How do we do this in a peaceful way so that all people, doesn't matter who you are, where you are in your stage of life, are treated with the decency that we sh everybody should be afforded simply because we are global citizens. And that's what the Institute is about. That's what ELP brought to us at the College of Social Work. They also provide us wonderful opportunities for our students. As you know, going to school is it's very expensive today. Just was reported last week that the average debt for a student in a school of social work nationwide is $47,000 in the master's program. Now that might not sound a lot, but the average starting salary for a social worker in this country today is $39,000. So you think about what people are committing to and taking on that kind of debt to get that degree and take that debt on. And the Institute, the Gulan Institute, provides student scholarships both for our master's and doctoral students. And in return, we provide research, we provide opportunities to develop new understandings about the global community. Why do we do this? Because that's what a good university is about. It's not just about teaching. It's about getting our young people and, our, and all of us to think about lifelong learning to make our world a better community for all people so that all children, our future, can live in harmony and peace and justice in the future. I want to thank you all for coming here this evening. And I do ask that a uh, week from Saturday, make sure you watch the Texas Tech University of Houston game and you watch the Cougars come down and we'll be taking them on. Thank you all for being here this evening. Appreciate that.